All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to wire and make up, uh, I guess you could say rough in and install a quadplex. Um, what a quadplex is, is two duplex receptacles, AKA four receptacles, AKA a quadplex. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is have wire in the box. Um, so, so you might have like one wire. In my case, this is just gonna be my power wire or my home run wire. Um, and I'm just gonna hook up the temporary power right here and then plug it in with an extension cord for my demo video. Uh, but you might have a wire coming in and a wire coming out already. So this might not be the end of the line for you. So you might have an extra wire in here, but the process is going to be the same. Um, so what you're going to want to do is um, grab two uh, pigtails for each device. So you're gonna be putting in two plugs right here and both of these tabs are not broken. Luckily I found two of them. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is um, just make two pigtails. These are different lengths, but um, you get the idea. So you're going to want to take two pigtails, one for each device, and you're basically just splitting splitting this up. So um, making a ground for each device, a neutral for each device, and a hot wire for each device. So basically you're just sharing the power and all that good stuff, or sharing all these wires. So what you're gonna wanna do is start out with sharing your ground wires. So if you have a uh, incoming and outcoming wire, then you would have four, four grounds here. But in my case, I just have one wire coming into the box. So I will have three wires. Um, even if you had like five wires in this box, which is uh, probably too many, but you get the idea. If you have five wires or even four wires, you're basically just gonna pigtail all that down into two pigtails. So if you had three wires, you would have five wires in the wire nut and then two pigtails coming out. So the end result is you just want two pigtails for your devices. So here is my ground pigtails right here. And I can go ahead and kind of fold that back up in my box nicely. And whichever side, if you have a shorter pigtail like I do, you can use the shorter pigtail for the device going on the shorter side. If you have a longer wire, you can push it back to the other side like this. And then you'll be ready to go. So once you do the grounds, then you're gonna go over here to the neutrals. Uh, I lost my other neutral pigtail, which is sad. So I'll just pick this one up. Um, so then you're gonna go to your neutrals and then you're gonna tie your uh, two neutral pigtails onto your um, neutrals. So I'm gonna tie these together. Hopefully that one didn't fall out. I think this wire's too crooked here real quick. I had this all set up and then I lost my neutral pigtail. So tie those together, line them up, line the ends up, make sure they're straight and flat. I like to cut the tips off of my wire. Like some people, I've seen this somewhere. Some people like to angle their wires so it goes into the wire net easier, but I have no idea where that came from because usually when I have a crooked wire or a wire that's cut in an angle, like, Gonna, I'll try to show you here. If you cut a wire at an angle, like cut the wire in half, so the wire looks like this, then I have no idea how people are supposed to put a wire nut on that, but some people do that. That is not how I do it. I just like to cut them straight, and then the tip of it is flat, and then they grab the wire nut easier in my case. So I like to have it a nice 90 degree angle on the wire. A little distraction, but hopefully that helps you out. So I always like to see like this wire right here has a edge on it. So I like to just cut it flat. Um, and then moving on to your hot wires. I'm just going to take all those two pigtails again. Tie them together. And if you are just roughing this in, then you would just fold these up into the box. Call it a day. But if you're putting the devices on, which I'm gonna show you right now as well, you're gonna to want to, um, to make this look decent. So 
if you're going to put the devices on, then you're going to do that as well. So I'm going to, once again, take my longer one a little bit. These pigtails are a little bit short, so I'm just going to split this up. These three wires on this side of the box, those three wires on that side of the box. And then I'm going to strip and curl these. Most of these are stripped, but I'm going to strip and curl these real quick, save you guys some time, and then also um, add on the extension cord again to plug in, and then I will be back. So give me one second. All right, so once you get all those stripped and curled, um, grab your devices, and then I'm going to time lapse again on going putting on these wires on the devices. Um, so you're just going to go as always, ground to ground, neutral to neutral, and then hot to hot. So ground onto the green screw, white onto the silver screw, and then hot onto the gold screws. So I'm going to repeat that on both of them, and then come back. All right, so once you install your devices, just like so, then you can go ahead and fold these back into the box like such. Make sure your ground wire is not touching any of the other screws like the silver screws or the gold screws. Otherwise, the circuit will immediately turn off or blow up. So once again, fold these back into the box. Sometimes you gotta work with it. I keep losing all of my screws on my devices. So once again, screw this together. Something is really wrong here. I don't know why this keeps stripping out so fast. There we go. So you got that one. And you're gonna want to Throw a level on these because um, if you don't, then it's going to be really crooked. Um, and then the whole plate is going to be like sideways and that's not good. Um, hopefully I can find another screw. Okay, there we go. All right, so once you get that done and pretend that you leveled it on your side, this one is very crooked. Um, then you can go ahead and take your plate if you have a finished wall. The easiest way to open these without a screwdriver is just to pull down on one of the corners like so. Usually it's a harder plastic bag, but you get the idea. You can just tear it open like so and then grab your screws out and I probably won't screw this on, maybe I will. And the same thing with the screws in the bag, you can just hold the screws and then pull the bag over the screws like so. Very nice, helpful tip. Um, and then you can go ahead and screw those on like so. I prefer not to use a twirly. I like to use a twirly to take things off, but I never carry twirly. Um, if I'm doing more residential stuff, I'll maybe throw it in my bag. Um, but you get the idea. So, anyways, I have an awesome video coming up on Friday, which some people might not appreciate. Um, but I'm very excited about it. If you cannot tell in the tone of my voice. Hey, I found my uh, neutral pigtail. Anyways, um, I'm really excited about this video on Friday. Um, I bought this new tool. Paid way too much for it. It's a used tool, which I've never bought a used tool before. It's a discontinued tool, and I can't wait to show it to you guys and put it in my daily tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. If it doesn't blow up, you did it right. So it looks like I did it right. And then I'm going to grab my receptacle tester. And this plate's kind of wonky, but if, once you do that, you're gonna see that everything works. So that one works, this one's obviously gonna work. Um, but if you do have a broken tab, then that one would not work. So as you can see, everything works. So everything is good to go. That's how you do it. So hopefully that helped you out, figure out how to wire 
rough-in and wire a duplex or, or quadplex receptacle, my bad. Um, so if you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Um, it helped the channel out, and I'd love to see you guys back in the next video. Giveaway coming up in the next few days as soon as I hit 10,000. It's going to be the biggest giveaway I've ever done. Um, so can't wait to get back to you guys. Um, check the description down below for anything else. The first link down below, the link tree, is going to have everything you need to know. Also a few extra links um, in the description. And I'm probably going to add back all the links as well from the link tree to the description. So stay tuned for that. And then hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Only if you want to know about those things. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless and have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.